And I, I saw a clip of Kanye, and I had to talk with another, uh, uh, with Mike, one of the people that works here. And I was like, listen, Kanye, obviously he's bipolar. He has a lot of problems going on. I do think he has a good heart, and he's trying to articulate. Bro, bro, if you're really educated and smart, like like a Candace Owens and you could speak, you know, the, like you could convey your message a lot easier. When it comes to Kanye, he's passionate. He has really, really good points, but I don't think the message comes off as clear. I don't think he hates uh, a certain group. I mean, he says... Then why up, can't he just go, I like Jews, well, I just don't like the business deals that I've gotten they, with, that they've with been involved Jewish in. People. There's a difference between what he's been saying and Not that. Not 100%. Well, and I, okay, and I, I, and I don't know everything. I don't know the facts, but from what I've been hearing, he was like, Jewish people run, you know, run the, you know, the entertainment and run this and run Hollywood. And it's like, bro, why is that? Is that a bad thing to say that Jewish people run the show? <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, there, there was a thing that I saw where uh, they canceled. Hold on. They canceled everything from his bank account to everything. And I saw um, uh, a meme that I sent to you, Tyler, on the bottom of the Slack. Jeffrey Epstein's bank account was not shut down. And he was re selling kids and and trafficking i think it's all the way at the bottom there's actually a funny me that uh so somebody sent this to me uh elena sent this to me look at this put that up put that up come here come here come here epstein come here. sold and raped children but never lost access to his bank accounts you know who did truck drivers my pillow guy and kanye are you awake like think about it i wonder that's, who did that that's a fact that did, is a fact you know what i equate this to what? Is, did you see uh, the end of the Florida Georgia game at the bottom of the billboard? They had a they had something flash across that said Kanye was right about the Jews. That's it was some idiot college kid, right? Yeah. They thought he was being funny. Yeah, that's what I equate this to. Like, mm. bro, Kanye is Kanye, right? Do you think? First of all, do you think he really meant to say Death Con three? No, or he meant to say Def Con. Def Con, right? obviously. Right. The dude's crazy, and to watch him fucking cower and apologize, and I'm so sorry, and America's racist, and this and that and the other. It's like, bro. No, I'm, mm. we're done now. Like, yeah, you, like, uh, yeah, yeah you, you, you had your chance. You and, showed your fucking colors, right? You missed yeah. your money. You're upset you got caught, so now you're going to go grovel. Yeah, for, and, yeah, mind you, and mind you, I'm not saying what he did was right by a long shot, but I think sometimes he had, there's, listen. Of course it's not. There's points in there. There's good, like, he makes some valid points, but I think the, the brain illness and, bro, nobody around him, Kanye doesn't have anybody around him going, like, Rob, if that was me, wouldn't you have the decency of, like, yo, Vinny? You need to like shut the fuck up. Yeah, but up. who does he have around him? Antonio Brown? Yeah, no, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the blind yeah. leading the so, blind yo, on so, good thoughts. So can you play can you play this clip, uh, Tyler, and put the is the volume gonna work? Guys? Uh, yeah. Let's see. So listen, put this up, please. In America, black people don't take all the rights that we have that are actually given to us. That's true. Because we weren't given what we were promised in the first place, which was the 40 acres. Instead, we were given- And a mule. A, yeah, and a mule. Instead, we were given projects and bad food and posters of Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> posters of Oprah Winfrey. And also, Here Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. People said to me multiple times, visit the Holocaust Museum. I said, visit our Holocaust Museum. It's called Planned Parenthood. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's pretty Six deep. Six million Jews huh? died in the Holocaust, and I am sorry for your losses. 20 million blacks died to abortion, mm -hmm. and Planned Parenthood was made by Marcus Sanger with the real KKK. Can you pause that for Yeah, pause it. Pause yeah. it right here. I and did it. I, so, mind you, you learn shit every day. I had no idea. I had no idea who this chick, Margaret yeah. Sanger, was, but... Uh, she was the founder of Planned Parenthood, all right? Um, she twisted the mindset behind the present-day culture of death. In her own words, she peddled racism, eugenics, contraception, abortion, while demonstrating a visceral hatred for children, parenthood, marriage, and the Catholic Church. And now, okay, this is her, and I'm just going gonna, gonna to read you guys three. Th these, are, these are 21 quotes that you'll probably make you sick. I'm just going to read the top three that this lady who started Planned Parenthood said, and then I, I, did, I did a Google search. Do you know what, what the number of African-American babies killed from abortion is each year? I think it's 30 36%. I think it was like 112,000 for 2018 or 19. And I don't know if what people believe in at conception or whatever. That number is insane. And this... Go ahead. 19 million since 1973. That is a lot of black people. Yeah, but so, they didn't... The Jews didn't no, choose to get murdered no, no, at the he Holocaust. Didn't, no, no, he didn't say whereas that. Whereas some people who got those 20 million abortions chose. So to compare the two, I feel that just continues to show 
But no, no, right, it, doesn't talk, even make, speak. it doesn't even make sense. Yeah, but it I, doesn't even make I, sense. You're comparing people who got pregnant and decided, I don't want to have this responsibility in my life. And they chose. And, and there's other instances in Obviously. which a woman will go and, and, and will be the victim of rape and then they go and get an abortion. But uh, there's a majority of those 20 million babies that were murdered yeah. that that was a, a decision that the parents made. Yeah. There was no Jews going, you know what? Those trains going to the camps look like fun. Yeah. Let me jump the fuck on those. <laughs> That's why this guy's a fucking retard. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to say that word. I'm sorry. Hey, you piece of shit. You're He's canceled. A retard. Uh, no, no, the but, guy is obviously yeah, lacking no, but, in, in yeah, common sense yeah. when you compare yeah, the but, two. Because if I'm Jewish, this is where I'm not Jewish. I'm not. But this would, uh, if I was Jewish, I'd be even more offended by the things that this guy continues to say as he tries to come out of a hole of going, oh, I don't like the Jews. Well, then he just doubles down on being a dick. Yeah, but, but okay, I, I get your point. I think what he was trying to say is, like, they, uh, when it, because earlier he was talking about uh, George Floyd earlier, but when, when the girl that started Planned Parenthood, her goal was to kill, like, you know what she said? This is one of her quotes, and I quote, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population, end quote. She said that. So this lady started Planned Parenthood because of eugenics, and she said shit like that. She said the most merciful thing that the large family does to one of its infant members is to kill it. That's what she said. But no, one more quote. But for, for my view, I believe that there should be no more babies. Well, and it wasn't just Margaret Sanger either. Theodore Roosevelt was a known eugenicist. And just, you asked earlier, eugenics, the study of how to arrange reproduction within a human population to increase the, current, the, the occurrence of her, uh, heritable characteristics regarded as desirable. Basically. Like Hitler. The perfect but, race. Yeah, like and, Nazi shit. How many fucking people do you know like really know that are like it's the Jews, it's the fuck, it's always no. the Jews. Uh, one, no, one, right nobody now. I know. One, no, <laughs> and they're probably an idiot. Yeah. Like it's like, dude, okay, you're probably a fucking idiot. Like really, yeah. this is America in 2022, right? Yeah. Who's America's number one ally? It's Israel yeah. and the fucking Jews. Yeah. So what is he talking about, dude? What do you mean? Like we're that's Kanye said something stupid. Is he an anti semite? I doubt it. I if he is, but if he, he's really an anti-Semite, legitimately, he deserves to be canceled. Why don't yeah. they go fucking cancel Rashida Tlaib or Ilhan Omar yep. or AOC? They're anti. Yeah, right? hold on. They're, or mind you, even Aunt Marjorie Taylor Greene with her Jewish space laser. She's a fucking idiot. Yeah, they said. Hold on. They all. Mind you, great point. They all said anti-Semitic shit. Not canceled. Why is it Kanye? Because Kanye is way more influential than those fucking those dorks. Well, if you Ilhan a, Omar is a is a known anti semite, she's in Congress. But if you have a what are you nuts? You have a giant yeah. But and what, she banged her brother. She married her brother. Who do you think she has did do that? Who do she's you, disgusting. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.